Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jason and I've got a good one for you today. So lean in with me just for a few minutes here. And that truth is this, never ever stake your identity in the struggle. And what do I mean by that? I can't tell you how many times I've had this conversation with so many people from all walks of life where they literally set their stake, they identify their entire existence is in the struggle that they're currently facing or have been facing. What does that sound like? Well, people say, well, maybe it's my genetics. Well, maybe my parents made me this way. Or you know what? A doctor in a white coat actually gave my child this diagnosis and they accept it as a death sentence as if that's the new truth to their life. And you can't do that. I am telling you, never adopt a belief that doesn't elevate your status. Never put on a name tag that doesn't empower you. Because the reality is you are the source and the solution to every single challenge in your life. And so often, facing that truth is the hardest part of your existence. But I can tell you of three conversations I've had in the last few years that have radically shifted the trajectory of my life, of my business, of my marriage, and they were tough. They were gut punches. And one went like this. When I first opened my business, everything that could possibly go wrong in opening a business went wrong. The reason that 80% of small businesses fail, every one of those things happened to me. And I'm not here to complain because I was the source and the solution to those. I just didn't realize it at the time. So I had a new mentor in my life and I didn't really know him and he didn't really know me or my circumstances but I laid out the full story of why I was struggling and why I was failing. We were so good at telling those stories. How often have we told these stories in our own mind and to our own friends and our own families? And everybody just kind of applauds as if this is true and it doesn't get you anywhere. We're really good at telling stories of mediocrity, but the world needs you to tell a story of breakthrough. And what happened in my life with this situation, yeah, the bank failed on us. Yeah, the contractor was $30,000 over budget, and the, the bank loan just fell through at the last minute. And I'm talking to my mentor, just so good at this story. He said, you know what? You need to be your own bank. You need some money. You need to quit begging for it. You need to go create it. And my God, that was a gut punch, but it was exactly what I needed to hear. And we took off from that moment. A few years later, I had another friend and mentor in my life and we were at a point where we had plateaued. And guess what? Got really good at telling the story of why we had plateaued. Plateaued at a place of decent success, but I wasn't anywhere I needed to be in life. And this guy, I won't say his name, but he knows who he is. I'm not talking in some metaphorical or allegorical kind of way. He literally, literally threw a pancake at my wife in frustration on a couple's retreat because we both, we were a duo in telling this story, but it was that pancake, or more importantly, the passion behind the pancake that changed the trajectory of our business and our marriage and our life from that point. Fast forward a couple more years, and I was at another place where I needed another breakthrough, and in a men's retreat, there was about a thousand men in the room, but I swear that speaker, the guy that was leading the group, was speaking directly to me, and he called me a coward. A coward for not facing the emotions that were holding me back, that were holding me back from that next level of breakthrough. This is the hard conversations and the hard work that I had to do for my own success in my own marriage, my own business, and my own relationship with my kids, because I was the coward. I was the broke individual. I was the stuck individual that needed some more pancakes in my life. But I needed to hear these messages because you know what? So many of us would rather stand, have a people line up on the edge of a cliff waiting to give us a high five as we jump over. And you know what? I'm not gonna do that because the fact of the matter is until you rise, until you rise in your circumstances, your circumstances will never rise with you. My point is you have to take that action. And what is currently true in your life, it is true. Maybe you are having these challenges, but it doesn't have to be your truth. You are the source and solution to all your challenges. And until you take that initiative, until you take off that name badge of brokenness and struggle, quit identifying with these challenges and identify with the solution and the path that's putting you on a, a destiny. That's what I want in all of your lives. And that's why I'm so fired up to do this. I'm not just a chiropractor, I'm not just a dad, I'm not just a husband. I'm not gonna be that guy that's sitting on the edge of a cliff ready to give you a high five. I wanna to point to the cliff and I also wanna to point to the solution and that's you.